These are the six types of contributors to subpar performance and or pain. My friend Juan, Ron Wolforth uh, coined this list back in 2010, I think it was, and it still holds true today. It's way deeper than just workload. It's about it's about your hardware, your, your physical structure, some we can change, some we can't. It's about your software, it's how your body's choosing to move, your movement patterns. It's about your tissue preparation, your warm up, your ramp up, which is gonna be really important uh, coming out of this, uh, n these new times that we're in here. And then your strengthening programs, and your nutrition, hydration, and sleep, and then there's workload. And if all those are good, you can throw enough to get better at throwing. So, the purpose of the gym I ask guys all the time, what's the purpose of the gym? They say the purpose of the gym is to get stronger. And I say you're wrong. If you're a baseball player, the purpose of the gym is to play baseball better. No one cares how strong you are if you suck. You, there's a lot of guys on your team that are strong as heck and can't play baseball. It's not about getting stronger. It's not about looking good in your swimsuit. It's about getting you strong in a way that helps you throw and hit a baseball better. And that's what Savage is all about, specificity. But we talked about this before. There's this juxtaposition or this opposition of specificity and load. The more specific I make a training activity to your activity, the less I can load it. And the more heavily I load it, the less specific it will be. Again, there's nothing more specific to throwing than throwing, but I can't put a 20 pound dumbbell in your hand today and then tomorrow 30, next day 40. That's too specific to load. On the other hand, there's lots of activities that we can load the Dickens out of and it's not specific to what we're trying to achieve. And so we have to find a way to manage that and we manage that with the specificity and load continuum here. You have some activities that are highly specific, not very loaded, that's your throwing program. You have some that are heavily loaded, not very specific, that's your strengthening program. And then you have some in the middle which are medium specificity, medium load, and we call that your power workout. And what we have to do is integrate all those and individualize them based on your assessment and how you move and what your individual needs are. And then we have to make sure that they meet our five-star uh, rating system for, for specificity for you as a baseball player.